So what we're going to do now, how much time do we have before the next, before lunch? Two minutes. So I'm going to jump into what was supposed to be the afternoon agenda. When we talked about door knocking a minute ago, I talked about what size of community was ideal in terms of building an organization. <coughs> the, the first thing that, is, that every organizer needs to do is try to evaluate what and who will be the base of the organization. So, in Acorn's way of organizing, our base was always low and moderate income families. But your base might be tenants. It might be young people. It might be informal workers. The, the key thing is that you have to have a base. Now, that's not to say all organizing models are founded on a base. A very popular, common way of organizing is to just try to mobilize people. So, that's not community organizing, although that is a way of organizing. But a lot of people now uh, in the 21st century believe that you can be an activist and an advocate and you don't really need to be an organizer. Quindi, ma per essere vivo un modello deve essere replicabile. C'è anche molta confusione tra gli organizzatori dicendo questo è il mio modello, 
Să nu ne vedem la bun punct. And this is often the problem with mobilizations. E foarte spus că trebuie să ne vedem la bun punct. There may be things that are done in a lot of mobilizations, but it's hard to predict <coughs> what the results will be country to country, city to city, place to place. Bine, difficile prevedere, poate să am rezultate de un pe zi la altul, de un città la altul, pe cont de oameni de mobilizazioni. So, if you want to organize, as some of you may want to do here in Italy, you have to be sure who you're trying to organize and how you're going to try to organize people. Quindi, se tu vuoi organizzare, devi essere sicuro di chi vuoi organizzare e come vuoi organizzare. So I can't answer for you who you want to organize. You'll have to decide that. But what we're going to go through in the next day or two is tools that are part of an organizing model that ACORN has used that is replicable, some of which may work for you, some of which may not. So critical once you determine who your base is is how well you can listen to what issues move your base. What's very valuable about door knocking or any one-to-one -one conversations is it allows you to listen carefully to what moves people. Quindi quello che è eh, importante del di valore nel dormire, cioè nel bussare porta a porta o in qualunque conversazione con un'altra persona, è proprio la capacità di saper ascoltare e di capire quali sono i problemi reali attraverso questo ascolto attento e diretto con i vari membri di una comunità. So the single largest mistake that almost all organizers have to avoid is thinking that it's what they say is most important to somebody as opposed to what they hear. But when they actually talk to the group of 20-25 organizers who had started that revolution movement, it was very interesting what they had to say. For years, these young people, and they were all about your age, had thought the best way to organize change in Egypt was to go into middle class areas around Cairo. And they would go into these areas and try to move people with the issue of the corruption of the government. And they would have more police at their actions than they would have people from those communities. So the police would surround them, but they didn't really care because nobody was moving on the issue of corruption. Nessuno interessa a far nulla perché nessuno si stava realmente 
girando attorno al problema della corruzione. So corruption is terrible, right? Della corruzione. Corruption is a bad thing. I think we can all agree, yeah. Tutti quanti siamo d'accordo. But if people aren't willing to take action either because they believe nothing can be done or everybody does it, it's not a, it's not based on listening to anybody, is it? Quindi se poi alla fine nessuno però vuole fare qualcosa contro la corruzione perché pensa che niente possa essere fatto, che nessuno può effettivamente uh, ascoltare qualcuno che ha da dire qualcosa contro la corruzione, è come non avere un problema, come non avere la capacità di poter incidere su quel problema. So after several years of trying this, they finally met together and said, well, maybe we need to listen to people closer to the center of Cairo and what their issues are. Quindi dopo anni cercando di uh, lavorare su quel problema, gli organizer hanno detto che okay, forse è meglio cambiare il um, problema da affrontare e ascoltare qual è il vero problema delle persone che vivono dentro il centro del Cairo. So they started leafleting and door knocking in the neighborhoods right around the <coughs> Fair Square on the fact that people did not have jobs and that the housing was substandard and too expensive. E quindi per quello che attraverso attività del bussare porta a porta hanno ascoltato che le persone avevano problemi non non avevano un lavoro non c'era senso. Housing was unaffordable, too expensive and substandard. It was crummy. And they would ask people to join them in the square. And to their shock and surprise, thousands of people were willing to join them on those two issues. So the point I can see. The point I'm trying to make is, it's not the issues you think are in a community, it's the issues you hear are really in a community that allow you even to mobilize, much less to organize. Quindi il problema, il punto per cui sto cercando di mettere a fuoco è che non è il problema che tu pensi ci sia in una comunità, ma è il problema che ascoltando quella comunità emerge, che ti fa in qualche modo costruire anche la mobilitazione oltre che l'organizzazione di quella comunità. Quindi l'importanza è l'ascolto. Question. No, volevo, eh, da quando avete iniziato, diciamo, la parola problema è la parola sulla quale si è centrata tutto il dibattito e il discorso, no? e quindi quello che richiama è soprattutto la questione della mobilitazione più che dell'organizzazione intorno a un senso di, diciamo così, di uso la parola cittadinanza attiva o comunque... La mia domanda è, o la riflessione forse è meglio, è eh, nel momento in cui eh, ci si muove organizzando masse, permettetemi la definizione, per problema e quindi come battaglia non come cittadinanza attiva, cioè il mantenimento di un'organizzazione di comunità del genere, che senso prende? Ok, so uh, we have talked about uh, a lot about issues, problems, and organizing around issues and problems. What's the difference um, organizing communities around active citizenships that is more about proposing something than proposing something? Proposing anziché opporsi a qualcosa? Sì, è più lavorare su come empowerment comunitario piuttosto che su battaglie, quindi opposizione a, sempre per il raggiungimento chiaramente di obiettivi, però no, cambia un po' la prospettiva e anche il percorso di attivi. So how is going to change the perspective working on uh, dealing with active citizenship instead of working on issues? I, well, I, I think it's probably clear. We haven't found a way to <coughs> have people build an organization without using issues. We don't have a way to build an organization without using issues. If you tried to say that the issue <coughs> was in fact being better citizens, Se il è dei migliori, you couldn't necessarily build a mass-based organization. You couldn't? So, I mean, two or three people, I mean, that means... Nella loro esperienza è più legata a questo tipo di approccio, cioè I'll ask this group a question. If you got a, if 
somebody talked to you about coming to a meeting to be a better citizen, how many of you would go? Quindi lui adesso sta facendo una domanda a tutti voi. Se qualcuno bussa alla vostra porta eh, di partecipare a un meeting per essere cittadini migliori, voi come reagireste? Mm. 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 Raise your hand. How many of you would go to a meeting to be a better citizen? Quindi alzate le mani, quanti di voi andrebbero a un meeting per essere cittadini migliori? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so a couple of you would obviously go to any meeting. But on the other hand, if on the other hand, if someone talked to you and they said the meeting was going to be about issues you thought were the most important issues in the neighborhood, <coughs> and those were issues you'd identified, would you go to that meeting? Quindi voi andreste invece a un meeting che riguarda un problema che voi identificate come problema. Probabilmente c'è una maggiore. Well, once again, not all of you would, but here's our experience. More of you would. Quindi in base all'esperienza di Eco, non è stato più facile, più costruire attorno a problemi che attorno alla costruzione di una proposta o di altro. Ora, se posso, can I just say it? Yeah, but I'm going to say one more thing. Okay. So the way an organizer or the way we train people, and you'll see this this afternoon, to have those conversations, we talk to people about, people in the community are talking about A, B, C. We list a number of issues that we've heard about and then ask them if any of these are their issues or are there other issues that they're concerned about. Quindi quello che loro fanno è identificare una serie di problemi, capire se quelli sono problemi legati a solamente a loro, problemi legati anche ad altri, comunque identificare una questione. So in building an organization, you're trying to get people to project the solution for their issue onto the collective enterprise of the organization. There's a, a definition that an American sociologist gave to uh, dialectic to what a dialectical sense of politics is, which is when a personal issue is transformed into a political issue. Quindi, questo è quando un problema personale è trasformato in un problema politico, allora è una questione dialettica. And that's at the heart of all community organizing process. But what did you want to add? Okay. Uh, I want just to um, say something about how <coughs> community organization But we'll, I mean, we're going to spend hours and hours on this. So. I just 
is don't want people to catch the wrong train. <coughs> So I'm afraid we better stop or you don't get to eat. Ah, uh, one more question. Se avessi cominciato a dire 